Afghan hounds are an ancient and majestic breed known for their elegant appearance and independent nature. If you're considering adding one of these regal dogs to your family or already have one, you likely have questions about their care, temperament, and unique characteristics. To provide you with comprehensive insights, here are 33 frequently asked questions about Afghan hounds, along with detailed answers. 1. What is the origin of the Afghan hound breed? Afghan hounds originated in Afghanistan, where they were bred for hunting large prey in rugged terrain. 2. What is the average size of an Afghan hound? Adult Afghan hounds typically weigh between 50 to 60 pounds, 23 to 27 kilograms, and stand 25 to 27 inches, 64 to 69 centimeters, tall at the shoulder. 3. What is the life expectancy of an Afghan hound? The average lifespan of an Afghan hound is around 12 to 14 years, although some may live longer with proper care. 4. Are Afghan hounds good family pets? Afghan hounds can make loyal and affectionate family pets, but they are best suited to households without small children or other pets. 5. Do Afghan hounds get along well with children? Afghan hounds may tolerate older children, but their independent nature and sensitivity make them better suited to households with adults or older teenagers. 6. Are Afghan hounds hypoallergenic? While no dog is completely hypoallergenic, Afghan hounds have a low shedding coat that may produce fewer allergens than some other breeds. 7. Are Afghan hounds easy to train? Afghan hounds are intelligent but independent dogs that may be challenging to train, so patience and consistency are key. 8. Do Afghan hounds bark a lot? Afghan hounds are not excessive barkers, but they may vocalize to express themselves or alert their owners to potential threats. 9. Are Afghan hounds good with other pets? Afghan hounds have a high prey drive and may not be suitable for households with small pets, such as cats or small dogs. 10. Are Afghan hounds prone to any health problems? Afghan hounds may be prone to certain health issues, including hip dysplasia, cataracts, and thyroid problems. 11. Do Afghan hounds shed a lot? Afghan hounds have a long, silky coat that requires regular grooming to prevent matting and tangling, but they do not shed excessively. 12. How much exercise do Afghan hounds need? Afghan hounds are active dogs that require daily exercise, including walks, runs, and opportunities to stretch their legs in a secure area. 13. Are Afghan hounds good guard dogs? Afghan hounds are not typically used as guard dogs due to their aloof and independent nature. 14. Do Afghan hounds need grooming? Afghan hounds require regular grooming to maintain their long coat, including brushing, bathing, and occasional trimming. 15. Are Afghan hounds good at obedience training? Afghan hounds may excel in obedience training with the right motivation and positive reinforcement techniques, but they may also be stubborn and independent. 16. Can Afghan hounds live in apartments? Afghan hounds can adapt to apartment living if they receive sufficient exercise and mental stimulation, but they may be better suited to homes with a fenced yard. 17. Are Afghan hounds prone to separation anxiety? Afghan hounds are sensitive dogs that may experience separation anxiety if left alone for long periods, so they prefer to be with their owners as much as possible. 18. Do Afghan hounds like to dig? Afghan hounds may enjoy digging as a form of entertainment, but providing them with alternative outlets for their energy, such as toys and playtime, can help prevent destructive digging behavior. 19. Are Afghan hounds good with strangers? Afghan hounds may be reserved or aloof with strangers, but early socialization can help them become more accepting of new people and experiences. 20. Can Afghan hounds be left alone during the day? Afghan hounds can tolerate being left alone for moderate periods, but they may become anxious or bored if left alone for too long. 21. Do Afghan hounds need a lot of mental stimulation? Afghan hounds are intelligent dogs that benefit from mental stimulation, such as puzzle toys, training sessions, and interactive games. 22. Are Afghan hounds good with elderly owners? Afghan hounds may be suitable companions for elderly owners who can provide them with the attention and exercise they need, but they may also be independent and aloof. 23. Are Afghan hounds good with children with special needs? Afghan hounds may not be the best choice for children with special needs due to their sensitivity and independent nature. 24. Are Afghan hounds good therapy dogs? 
Afghan hounds may not be well suited to therapy work due to their independent nature and sensitivity to noise and stress. 25. Can Afghan hounds live with cats? Afghan hounds may have a high prey drive and may not be suitable for households with cats or other small animals, although early socialization may help mitigate this behavior. 26. Do Afghan hounds require a lot of grooming? Afghan hounds have a long, silky coat that requires regular grooming to prevent matting and tangles, including daily brushing and occasional bathing. 27. Are Afghan hounds good at lure coursing? Afghan hounds excel in lure coursing and other canine sports that allow them to use their speed and agility to chase prey-like objects. 28. Can Afghan hounds live in hot climates? Afghan hounds have a thin coat that provides little protection against extreme temperatures, so they may be better suited to cooler climates or indoor living in hot climates. 29. Can Afghan hounds live in cold climates? Afghan hounds have a thin coat and may require extra protection, such as coats or sweaters, in cold climates to keep them warm. 30. Are Afghan hounds good at agility? Afghan hounds are agile and athletic dogs that may excel in agility competitions with proper training and motivation. 31. Do Afghan hounds like to swim? Afghan hounds may not be natural swimmers due to their thin coat and lean body, but some may enjoy water activities with proper supervision and encouragement. 32. Are Afghan hounds prone to bloat? Afghan hounds may be at risk of bloat, a life-threatening condition that requires immediate veterinary attention, so owners should be familiar with the symptoms and risk factors. 33. Do Afghan hounds like to cuddle? Afghan hounds are independent dogs that may not enjoy cuddling as much as some other breeds, but they may still enjoy spending time with their owners on their own terms. In conclusion, Afghan hounds are elegant and noble dogs with a rich history and unique personality. By understanding their characteristics and providing them with proper care and training, you can enjoy a rewarding and fulfilling relationship with these captivating companions for many years to come. Are you thinking about getting an Afghan hound? Let us know what you decide in the comments below. And if you know someone who's thinking about getting an Afghan hound, please share this with them. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching.